From individuals to entire teams, when IT organizations need to validate skills and knowledge, Red Hat delivers with a variety of hands-on certification programs. To provide even more value to people and organizations, Red Hat is updating the requirements and policies of the programs. But Red Hat's performance-based certification programs are industry-leading, so why change? As the Red Hat product catalog continues to grow, it's important that our certifications not only keep pace, but also provide a clear path to the future. We also need to provide more avenues for individual specialization and recognition for exceeding requirements. It's our goal to help Red Hat certified professionals become and remain current and to continue their journeys of growth and development. Let's start with a review of the certification program today and then look at the changes ahead. Red Hat Certified System Administrator is the core certification for system administrators who work with Red Hat Enterprise Linux and Red Hat Enterprise Linux OpenStack platform. Red Hat Certified Engineer builds on the Red Hat Certified System Administrator program, testing deeper skills and preparing admins for a broader set of responsibilities in Red Hat Enterprise Linux environments. A Red Hat Certified JBoss developer demonstrates the ability to create, modify, and extend Java EE applications. Certificates of expertise are available to demonstrate skills in frameworks or other technologies that are part of Red Hat JBoss Enterprise middleware. Finally, a Red Hat Certified Architect can demonstrate skills and knowledge across Red Hat Enterprise Linux and multiple other technologies. So what's new? Flexibility. Professionals who wish to earn the Red Hat Certified Architect Certification can now apply any of the System Administration Certifications and Certificates of Expertise towards RHCA. These will not appear on the Verify and Search page until October 1, 2014. However, this new requirement will be applied retroactively, so there's no reason to wait to pursue your RHCA. Also, while RHCSA and RHCE are still required to earn RHCA, we no longer require RHCE for some RHCA track exams. Now, there are no eligibility requirements for any Red Hat exams. Because of the fast pace of technological change, Red Hat is not creating specific requirements for architect-level certifications. However, we do have some recommended specializations you may wish to pursue. RHCAs who earn more than five certificates of expertise will earn a higher level RHCA. Red Hat will also apply this concept of levels to Red Hat Certified JBoss Developer. Developers who earn RHCJD and then earn additional eligible certificates of expertise will also earn higher levels. The Verify and Search page is the foundation of Red Hat service for its certified community and customers. Red Hat certified professionals must now agree to our terms and conditions and map their certification ID to a redhat.com username in order to appear on the Verify page or be found through search. The Verify page will only list credentials that are current and the search feature will only display current professionals. An exam transcript at the bottom of the page will list exams passed, but credentials won't be listed in the certification section unless they're current. To use our certification logos, your certification for that associated credential must be current. Red Hat certification programs offer a streamlined approach for IT professionals who are ready to prove they have the right knowledge, skills, and abilities for the employers that want to hire them. To find out more, or if you're already certified and want to know how these changes affect you, please visit us today.